Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we're going to make some jelly. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Sarah, what are you doing today? <laughs> I'm picking fireweed petals. For what? The blooms to make jelly. All right, let's pick some fireweed blooms. Let's do it. How much do you need? Eight cups. Eight cups? Oh my god. And that's a pack, eight Compacted. pack cups. We'll be here a little while. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push the uh, right a little bit. Well, how'd you do, sir? Not too badly. It's packing down quite densely at the bottom. All right. So if that was fluffed up, this would be almost full. Whoops. Yeah, now no she's flinging. throwing them. You should have seen no them earlier. She, she, she tripped and fell on her booty, oh. and they were all through her hair. We didn't pick those ones up because her hair might have cooties. <laughs> so, but anyways, yeah, we're uh, we're doing good. We but, are. Uh, we're gonna go put these in the house and come back and get more. Back in a few. All right, so we have four cups so far. We need a total of eight. We've moved over to a different patch. Let's see what we can All right, so we're back inside. Miss Sarah's over there doing her reading, and I'm gonna get this part going here. So, we picked, I think, approximately 12 cups of fireweed. So we're gonna put that in our pot after we measure it, just to be right so we can make sure our mixture and our measurements are all right. So, one. And this is a packed cup. It didn't say hard pack, so I'm just packing it in there. Two. And we're just going to call it 12. It's a little extra in there. It ain't going to hurt nothing, right? <laughs> That's to make sure there's no greens in there. that's that and I think I'm gonna get a bigger pot <laughs> this will take 
12, uh, 12 cups of water as well. While we're down, my counter is clean, so it better be if the help's done doing their job. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked. Four. And it's actually um, cup to cup, so it's four. It's eight. So we have a total of 12 cups in it because we had right around 12 cups of flowers. As you can see here, we're gonna put on the All right, so that is that. I'll bring you back here in a little bit once it starts going. It is starting to go brown, which is what we want to see. A little bit longer to go. Probably about another five minutes. All right, so it is ready to go into the strainer. All right, so how we're gonna do this, we're gonna take this big bowl. This is the cheesecloth. This strainer, yep, it's, I need a section just enough to, to lay in there. I'm gonna, we definitely get more. Yes. So, all right, I'm gonna need to double it. So I keep going. I need to kind of sat, lay it like that so I can cut it a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay. Here? Mm-hmm. Zoom. There we go. Thank you. You are welcome. All right, so now I'm going to pour. this into that bowl okay. and it smells amazing in case you don't know all right um, I'm going to get a paper towel and just get all the excess out of there don't look at my fat belly As you can see, the flowers have lost all their color and kind of gone gray, which is what you want. What happens? You want to give me the potato masher? I'm going to do something a little different here because this is really, really hot. It's going to be over there in the uh, perch basket. I want to get every drop out of this. All right, so if you want to hold that side right there. Went. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna set that up there, and I should be able to grab that up. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it all sit for a few minutes because it's really hot. I want to get the last little bits out of there, so I'm gonna set that right there. All right, we should be able to squeeze this out the rest of the way now. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So we've got to put it back in a pot and get it boiling again so we can put the sugar in it, put the pectin in it and the lemon juice to give back its color. All right, let's see if I can not make a mess. <laughs> All right, so we need to get this back up to a boil. 
So we're about to a boil, so I'm going to add in the lemon juice. And that's going to help with the color. I'm going to put in four packs of pectin and a half from this packaging. I actually misspoke, but this recipe and the quantity I have, it takes six packages. And this is the, um, the Sure Gel pectin. That will stir. Yeah, see it's already got its nice color back already. All right, so that's going. So now I'm gonna start adding the sugar slowly. Yes, a lot of sugar. All that, oh my gosh, we need more sugar. So I like to get it in to let it dissolve a little bit and then I'll start adding more into it. They do make pectins that you do not need to add sugar. I do not have any at this time. Tasting experience when you taste it, see if it's got enough sugar in it. Tastes like it. Let the boss taste. I think it's even better than last year. It tastes stronger of uh, fireweed. fireweed. All right, we're now at a boil. It's got to go for about a minute. Got to get the water going after this, as well as the water for doing the sterilization of the glass in the lids. There we go. And that is off. Now I've got to get the water going. So we can get this done up. Alright, we are sterilized. We're going to move over to the next workstation. Back in a moment. Alright, I'm going to get a couple jars over here. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to get the lids in and dipped. And get them sterilized as well. And then get the water onto the large pot for doing the water bathing. Boo-boos. Yes, Sarah cussed.
Well, the battery was dead, so I wasn't able to get it all coming out. But they're already cooling. I've already had one pop. So I'm happy about that. So we got two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 jars of various sizes. That's it for today. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon at the next video. Have a good one. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. No live on Friday. Um, we're doing a lot of supply runs and organizing things, trying to get ready for the winter. However, on Sunday, I'm gonna post a time for a live stream. It's probably gonna be on Monday, probably around 4 p.m. our time, so that'd be eight Eastern. So look forward on Sunday afternoon. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Take care.